In this lesson, I will work an example uh, showing you what happens if the net force on a system is not equal to zero. Uh, we've been talking about momentum and how if the net force on a system is equal to zero, then momentum is conserved. But what if the net force on a system is not equal to zero, then what happens? Uh, evidently, you would probably guess that the momentum would not be conserved, and that is correct, but can we be more quantitative than that? And, uh, of course, we can. It turns out that the net force on a system is equal to the change in momentum over the change in time. <clears throat> so this is uh, sort of a special case of the net force being, uh, or the net force being equal to zero would be a special case of this. If the net force is zero, then momentum would be equal to zero. And that's what we've been talking about uh, in the other lessons up to this one. But this time, we will learn what happens if the net force on a system is not equal to zero. So let's say, for example, uh, that um, a, a player of some kind of sport um, kicks a ball, okay, and the ball starts out from rest. and uh, to a speed of 15 meters per second. Uh, and let's say that the ball uh, has a mass of uh, 400 grams. Okay, so uh, if the player's foot uh, is in contact with the ball, uh, for say four tenths of a second, let's uh, find the Average net force on the ball. Okay. Well, uh, in this case, we definitely do have a net force on the ball. Uh, the person is kicking the ball, uh, and the momentum of the ball is changing. It's going from zero to some positive value of the mass of the ball times 15 meters per second. So we can use this uh, equation, the sum of the force equals the change in momentum uh, divided by the amount of time that, that change takes. Sum of the forces is equal to change in momentum. Well, change in momentum is the final momentum of the ball minus the initial momentum of the ball. And the time is down here. Okay, the final momentum of the ball, that would be the mass of the ball times the final velocity of the ball. The initial momentum would be the mass of the ball times the initial velocity of the ball, still all over time. Uh, now, the initial momentum of the ball in this case is zero because uh, it was from rest. So we have that the net force is equal to the mass of the ball, 400 grams. By the way, that is 0.4 kilograms. Okay, so we have 0 0.4 kilograms. Uh, times 
the final velocity of the ball, that would be 15 meters per second. Uh, all over the amount of time, that would be 0 0.4 seconds. Okay, now these two point fours cancel. And we have then that the sum of the forces is equal to 15 kilogram meters per second squared. A kilogram meter per second squared is the same thing as a Newton. So uh, the average force, the average net force on the ball during the point four seconds is 15 newtons. All right, let's uh, work another example. Uh, let's say this time we'll have a ball that is going to uh, go into a wall. Uh, it goes in with a speed of 10 meters per second and it bounces back um, a tenth of a second later with a speed of 8 meters per second in the other direction. We'll call that ball A. Okay, let's also say that we have ball B, which is going uh, with a speed of 10 meters per second toward the wall, but when it hits the wall, um, it goes splat and sticks. And it takes also a tenth of a second for the ball to turn into a lump of putty. Okay, so uh, I actually want to do two things with this problem. First uh, is I want to uh, ask you, this is kind of one of those check your understanding questions, uh, I want you to see if you can decide which ball experiences the greatest change in momentum. Do you think it's ball A, ball B, or ball C, or not ball C, <laughs> choice C will be that both balls experience the same change in momentum. So pause the recording, think about this for a moment, and uh, I will tell you the correct answer. Okay, uh, well, if you're ready for the correct answer, uh, the ball that experiences the greatest change in momentum is ball A, uh, because momentum, remember, is a vector. That means that if ball A is going 10 meters per second to the right, uh, and then it bounces off the wall and is going 8 meters per second to the left, that's a bigger change than ball B, which was going 10 meters per second to the right and then stops. Okay, let's, uh, I can show you that with numbers. Let's find the change in momentum for ball A. Okay, the change in momentum for ball A would be equal to the final momentum of A minus the initial momentum of A. And we need to pick a direction to be positive. We normally say that right is positive. So that's what we'll do. Uh, right is positive. So for ball A, we have a final momentum of negative 8 meters per second times the mass of ball A minus the initial momentum of A, that would be 10 meters per second 
to the right, so it's positive times the mass of ball A, or a total change in momentum of negative 18 meters per second times the mass of ball A. Ball B, on the other hand, has, an, uh, has a final momentum of zero and an initial momentum of 10 meters per second times the mass of ball B. So it has a total change of momentum of minus 10 meters per second times mass of B. So if everything else is equal, if they're the same mass of ball, for example, then uh, negative 18 is a, a greater change than negative 10. The negative sign simply tells us the direction of the momentum change. Uh, so uh, since 18 is bigger than 10, ball A experienced the greatest momentum change if uh, the two balls have the same mass. Uh, and then, uh, of course, if we wanted to figure out what the force was on these two balls, uh, you could do that using uh, the time here, but uh, the change in momentum doesn't really depend on the time. Only the force depends on the time. So there is uh, another numerical uh, example showing a change in momentum. Uh, remember, the key here and the key in, in many of these momentum problems is remember that momentum is a vector. Okay, so that if you've got two momenta that are in the opposite directions, one of them is going to have to be negative. 